into bboptionmillionaires.com. You know, every market video I do is not a first run variety type market video. I edit it, I erase it. A lot of the times it could take me up to an hour to do a five minute video because I've just got so much extraneous data and information in there. So when I did my video this earlier this afternoon, there's a lot of the stuff that I had in it that I got erased. Okay, I started off with the Kenny Rogers. It's talking about, you've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You've got to count your money. When it's sitting at possible head and shoulder support here. There'll be time enough for counting when we pull back to lows we haven't seen. Actually, this is the economics low here. You, PPOptionMillionaires.com. It's September 13th, 2015. It's a Sunday. And uh, yeah, a lot of the times, you know, it's kind of the unedited version. I'll get into a chart and I'll just start cursing out of nowhere. I'll be like, God damn it. I wanted to talk about this Ebola decline. What's wrong with you? And I'll erase it and then I'll come back and be like, Oh, look at this Ebola decline here. This is great, folks. This is a great chart pattern here. Look at this V bottom. Look at that beautiful V bottom here. Instead of being like, oh, God damn it! Scotty, why did you not embark on the V bottom pattern prognosis? But instead, I'm just calm. I delete that and go back. And it'd be like, sometimes it'd be like, hey, the trend is looking great. And it'd be like a skip. Because that skip will be the, oh, God damn it! That trend was broken! What's wrong with you? So if we look for the long-term chart perspective, you know, it's funny because we go through life always editing our remarks. You know, some people want to say, you you, you always want to say something, but you're always just muted. So I'll be like, oh, wow, you're beautiful. And then in the back of your mind, like, my God, has she put on 40 pounds or is that just me? You know, something awful. It's awful stuff, but it's merely observation. So if you want to look at a chart and be like, hey, well, let's ignore this 40 pounds she put on here and this 50 pound pregnancy weight. And, and say she's still beautiful and we'll buy it, right? Because you're just going to get killed when she falls down to prices we haven't seen in a long time, right? I mean, isn't that life? Put it in a nutshell. It's life right there. We want it. The last couple of years, everybody gets a medal. Hey, oh my God, my son is so great. He got a medal at, at soccer because he just got on the field. You know, he didn't run around or anything. He kind of slobbered on himself and grabbed the water and complained to the coach. But he was great. So look at the... <laughs> You know, just look at this S&P 500. ETF, the spiders, we're going to bring that up, folks, because uh, that's what we're going to look for a long-term chart perspective. Uh, love it. I love the trend. You got to, you know, you take the trend. Oh, I'm losing weight. Oh, I'm looking great. I've been working out. Oh, my goodness. And then you finally run out of steam. It's like, oh, well, I had a couple cookies here. <laughs> well, I stopped working out a little bit. And you start to get a little heavy here. And the momentum starts to build. You know, everybody talks about a pullback. That we saw in 2008 and 2009, well, guess what? This is Redemptions. This was James Kramer coming on TV, you know, uh, the Today Show, saying, hey, listen, folks, if you haven't sold anything, sell it, put it on your mattress for five years, which ended up being the worst financial advice you could have ever given to anyone else. But, yeah, up here would probably be a better time for him to say that because you could be actually putting some real profits here. Disney from 20 to 120 bucks. <laughs> All right, you baby here, OptionMillionaires.com. The point I'm trying to make this evening is it's so easy to sit there and, you know, put a nice, beautiful coat of just happiness on this marketplace. When, in fact, the undercurrents of this market are telling you it's fat. It's ugly. It's not looking good. This is, you know, there's a pimple here, a couple pimples, and this is just, like, disgusting. This is like a breakout. It's like, call the dermatologist. And if you look from a, you know, a wedge pattern, it's going to, it's, it's amazing how this is going to work out because we can almost head to Thursday. Janet Yellen's going to come out. Price expectations are calling for us to do something with the interest rate policy that we just haven't done since March, uh, December 2008. Because we don't even know what that is anymore. We just talk. We talk. We do, we're like friends. We just talk. We don't do anything. We just talk. We're like, hey, the economy's doing great. Interest rates, we don't even touch those anymore. But we talk about the economy because look at this. Look at this Ebola bottom. Oh, this is great. Nothing to do with interest rates. Just, I love it. This is something I used to do at school 75 years ago when I was at school. It's great. 
I had to go in the park and I just watched this. All right, UPP here. Just had to do another video, folks. Goodbye.